it's Pixie. Welcome back to my art desk. I am so glad you could join me for this very, very special video. So I don't normally do sketchbook tours on YouTube. And the reason is because when I started drawing, I was watching a lot of sketchbook tours. And I noticed that when I was drawing in my sketchbook, I would be thinking about those sketchbook tours and feeling like someone was watching over my shoulder when I was drawing and uh, that wasn't really helpful for my process so I made a vow to myself then and there that I would never do sketchbook tours on YouTube even if I someday did start a channel which you know I clearly did so when I started my Patreon I was like, this is a safe place where I can share my sketchbooks because I think it's really fun to share the process and share <laughs> some of the failed drawings and uh, but mostly the process. That's why I am so into YouTube as an art sharing medium because you can uh, get more close and personal with the act of creation, which is what it's all about. Anyway, what I have here, I mean it says, so you can probably guess, you're very smart. Uh, it's 60, 60 selected sketchbook spreads. It's from the end of 2017 and throughout the entire year of 2018. So these drawings are quite old, as you can probably see by the examples. And uh, I've put these selected spreads together in a PDF and I named the collection from the bottom because, you know, these are very early drawings. Started from the bottom and now we're here. And also, when I was looking through, I realized that I had drawn quite a lot of butts. So I put one of the butts on the front because, you know, butts are good. We like butts. I think that's all I need to say before we get into it. I'm, I'm just gonna flip through and uh, talk about these drawings. And it's gonna be fun, so let's do it. We are starting with more butts. And some woodland animals. Honestly, this poor little hedgehog really shows my continued struggle with hedgehogs. Uh, there will be more later on. Drawing my own left hand. A classic artist move. I remember very specifically when I was drawing this uh, house. It's a pizzeria in like the middle of nowhere. And I started drawing it thinking I would like paint the whole thing. But then I got sick of it. So I was like, I'll just paint the sky and leave it like this. It's, it's an artistic choice. Uh, <laughs> this is Louis Tomlinson who used to be in One Direction. Maybe you know him. Um, and here we see that drawing profiles is difficult. And this is also a theme that will be ongoing. Um, so I used to be very good at dating every drawing. So these are November 2017. And um, this house is very inspired by Minnie Small, who that year did an Inktober project where she drew houses and they had little monster spooky stuff in them. So those eyes I put there, clearly inspired by that. Oscar Wilde and Virginia Woolf, two of my faves. And uh, you can clearly see by Oscar's eyes that I, uh, was new. It's got a bit of a fishy look to him. But other than that, I don't want to be too hard on my past self. I think I did okay here. Spooky deep sea fishes. I'm pretty sure I was uh, watching a lot of Blue Planet at this time. This is fun. I remember that I was really proud of this Trotsky portrait when I drew it. I'm not su super into it now. Uh, and this is a ticket for a movie showing we had of a documentary we made 
uh, we as in the international, about Trotsky's life. Um, and it's free to watch here on YouTube, so I will leave a link below. It's really quite good. Uh, I also remember this day. This is a new sketchbook, by the way. You can see the dimensions have changed. Um, I remember this day we were out on a school strike and it was super cold. And I got home and I drew this without a reference, which you can clearly tell, I feel like. So this is a photo I had printed out and taped in there because I wanted that be gay hate cops energy. So here's another contemporary artist inspiration, Ellie Smallwood. Um, she is she does quite well, uh, but if you don't know her, you should check her out on Instagram. Um, so this was my like redraw of one of her paintings that I saw, and then I tried to do like a similar thing. And there it looks like I scanned hair. So that's great. Buns and some gay shit. And another hair, I think. I need to remember to check for hairs before I scan. I'm pretty sure I used the reference of Beth Ditto here. And I was thinking about Lily Potter. This was while J.K. Rowling's like right-wing politics were obvious, but not to the extent that I couldn't still enjoy Harry Potter. So this was when Harry Potter was still enjoyable to me and I was active in the fandom and uh, had a lot of fun with that. Um, this is from when I was on a plane on my way to the US to visit my uh, then partner and I was listening to Prisoner of Azkaban um, as these doodles make obvious. Uh, I mostly included this spread I think because I like this page with the like security uh, doodles. Dorothy Parker. Oh, and this is where I just bought uh, these mermaid markers. They were quite expensive, but it was like a rare chance to get them because I was over in the US and they're not super, super available here in Sweden. They, you can get them, but you can't use uh, 40% off coupon. Here I was on a train on my way from Oklahoma to Austin. I really like these stupid faces. I just drew all these circles and uh, yeah, added some hair and weird faces with like too many teeth. I had really not found a way to draw teeth that wasn't horrifying. I think this is Beth Ditto again. I was really set on not uh, getting stuck drawing just one type of human. Um, but, and a big profile struggle. I mean, look at that. It looks like she's run into a wall. Um, yeah. I used to really write a lot of encouragements to myself in my sketchbooks. And uh, I still do sometimes, but now I do some more in like longer quotes rather than short uh, affirmations, I guess you could call it. Ooh! This is when I was reading Middlemarch. I was really obsessed with the web series Middlemarch. Um, that was really good, and I want to read the novel. I listened to it on audio, 
it's quite a chunky novel, so it took me a while. <laughs> These drawings are so, so bad. I just... But I included it because I think it's funny that I try to draw myself in this, like, guess I'll die old man meme. If you... If you cast cast your mind back, or your memory, if you dig deep in your memory, maybe you remember the guess I'll die man. I just think these experiments are really fun. And I had written a very helpful note here. It says, inspired by Skillshare, Skillshare class Watercolor and Ink by Yasmina Creates and Dominic Baylor, but no references from either. Uh, Dominic Baylor is an artist I actually don't know super much about, but I uh, I'd found his work on, I think, Pinterest, and he does really cool uh, ink pen and watercolor portraits. This was also an like, ink and watercolor experiment with sort of different colors and things. Uh, from which I learned that yellow line art doesn't really work. <laughs> I like his page because I like seeing sort of my progression. Uh, I sort of fig fig figure it out eventually. And these are uh, little tags from tea bags. Some ballpoint pen sketches. I'm pretty sure this is Vita Sackville West whom I have yet to read a book by, but I still want to. <laughs> um, I remember this. I was sitting in a cafe. This is a car I saw outside and this was my probably caramel latte. And I think it's super cute that I wrote Lee Ellickson inspired because if you look at her work now, uh, it doesn't really look like that. And even like back then uh it's it's not super reminiscent but i um, i was inspired partly because i made like a blob and then i tried to carve out the shape and that was a technique she had talked about and also she used to do those little dot things more cars have I drawn a car since I drew these? Probably not. Um, so here's my struggle with drawing uh, hedgehogs again. And oh, this is fun. So, 100 project number 11. Uh, 100 pro project was because I read an article on lineofaction.com that said that if you want to get better at drawing something, you should draw it 100 times. So I was like, okay, I want to get better at drawing full body poses. So I decided to draw 100. This spread I mostly include because uh, it was a work sample I included in my application to the art school I went to and they accepted me. And I still have no idea why, but I am very happy that they did. A portrait of one of my best friends. Shout out to you, Maria. I love you. This changing quality is precisely because I was following a tutorial by the Frugal Crafter. And another friend, Elsa. And now we're in a new sketchbook again. I haven't mentioned every time it's a new sketchbook. This is the fifth sketchbook that's included in this, this batch. Another pose. Still working on that. Sea slugs. They are just adorable. I wanted to include this one because I drew it without a reference and considering that I remember being Quite proud of it. Um, I can see some flaws, obviously, but um, for where I was at at the time, 
you know. Um, this is a fun spread. So this is a study of um, that Van Gogh painting of a bedroom. Is it called like Yellow Bedroom or something, I think? And uh, a page of poetry items. Just things I noticed uh, come up a lot in uh, poetry I saw around the internet. So we have rain, we have teeth, we have smoking, which is bad, and alcohol, which is also bad. We have rose, rose petals. We have rib cage, the moon, and anxiety, which I did not know how to draw. <laughs> it's it's a raccoon driving a car with a Mark's license plate. This is also fun. So this was I went to the Maritime Museum. Maritime? Maritime? How do you say it? The the sea sea museum. The museum. <laughs> um and I looked at some some species and sea creatures. Um uh, but they also had an exhibition about the uh, Ponyo. Um ocean diving women which is a super cool thing and uh, they had like a wishing tree where you would write down a wish and hang it on the tree I also remember this day I was really feeling frustrated with my drawings So I improvised this without reference. It's supposed to be me. Um, my hand is way too small and my eyes are too big. Um, but you know, and another butt, because of course. I still really like this. I think I found this dog in sunglasses on Pinterest and just thought it was fun. And then I wrote, the good boys are back in town because that's the kind of thing I find funny. I also quite enjoy these watercolor experiments uh, that were without a sketch and just just vibing. This was a little doorway I drew from life, I remember. And pretty odd, was listening to a lot of Panic at the Disco at the time. Um, here I wrote a critique for myself. Good likeness of that painting. And I would agree. Um, I mean, I don't have the reference photo anymore. But I remember thinking that I, I got the likeness okay, but I didn't do the best job painting. <laughs> this spread is just very intense um, in a way that I find amusing somehow. Another travel sketch. Remember traveling? What a time. Um, this was on the way to the World Congress for the International in 2018. I'm pretty sure I drew this without looking, if, if you're wondering why I did that. Also from life. And this is a very weird drawing, I realize that. Arlie Bean had a draw this in your style, and I don't remember exactly what hers looked like now. But it was a human, and there was like an orange slice somewhere, so I sort of went with that and uh, made this. I don't know, it's weird. So these are some sketched notes from, I started art school at this time and we went to Amsterdam and uh, this, these were like sketchy notes from two different museums, the Stedelijk 
which is the Modern Art Museum, I think, and from the Van Gogh Museum. And I remember finding it really interesting when they were talking about how in the 1800s painters went outside and painted more landscapes because that was the invention of the paint in tubes uh, that were a lot more portable. Which I thought was really cool. Another <laughs> drawing of my friend Elsa. And Maria's dog, Dali. <laughs> um, and I definitely included this because it's very stupid. I mean, it's 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 a fish with arms and a pony who's definitely flirting with you and wearing a badly drawn hat, but that's okay. I still really like this bat sketch, and I I couldn't tell you why, because it's like. It's not that great, it's nothing special, um, but I just really enjoy like the energy of it. And these keys are the end. This, this key inspired this whole page because this was a key that I saw at the uh, city museum from like the viking age and i was like that is so cool so i looked up a lot of old keys and uh, just went with it the keys breathing is uh, obviously a reference to uh the lord of the rings the two towers when gimli is running and struggling relatable as always and that was my journey in 2017 and 2018. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my development. I do want to do this for 2019 and 2020 as well, but I don't know when that's going to happen because of time and stuff like that. Um, if you'd like to take a look, closer look at this, I'm going to put this PDF uh, up on my Etsy shop for a low, low price just for fun, if you would be interested. My patrons obviously will get it uh, as a digital goodie, uh, as a bonus thing, which I do sometimes. Um, and speaking of, big shout out to my patrons. I love you guys. Uh, you mean so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to you for watching this and for watching it to the end. Please let me know what your favorite bad drawing was and uh, if this has inspired you to start practicing because you realized that you can get better. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And until I see you next time, take care of yourself. Oh, and also free Palestine. Bye. <laughs>